Good morning, YouTube. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own Columbus Tower. It's just cubes stacked on top of each other. Um, it's really easy to make. Um, so this is going to be a level easy tutorial. Um, I'm trying to make this quick, so if you don't get what I'm saying or anything like that, I'm sorry. I'll try to make this as clear as I can. So what you'll need is origami paper or sticky notes, or printer paper cut into squares. Anything you can use that's a square. So, once you're done making a cube, it should look something like this. It'll have an inverted corner, and it should have all these flat sides. I'm just showing you guys now, because I might not have the time to show you at the end. So, you'll start with a square of paper. You're just going to want to fold it in half, like this unfold it, bring the right side to the crease in the middle, bring the left side to the crease in the middle, unfold it, fold, hold it so that the creases are facing vertical. Then you fold it in half again, and when you fold it, I know you can't see it, but you should have three creases, one on the right, one on the left, and one in the center. Then you unfold it, bring the right to the middle, bring the left to the middle, and now, at this point, you'll have this, just like before. You'll notice that you have a crease there, a crease there, a crease there, just like before. You take these two flaps, and holding them together, you fold them over onto the middle crease and bring it back up so it'll look like this. So you want to do that on both sides. Like this. You want to make five of these, five more of these units so that there will be six in total. So I have four here, so I'm going to need to make two more. Um, I'm just gonna take the video of you guys just watching me. Maybe that will help you. A good way to help me to remember that I know I'm doing it right should look like a pamphlet. Okay, now that you have six of these units, you'll want to make a piece like this with an inverted corner. I'm going to show you guys how to do that now. You take one of your pieces and you bring down the edges. Just bring down the edges like that. You want to make it so this corner makes it to the bottom. So you just want to curve it like this increase it so it makes a line like this so it'll be like a triangle next to a square now you want to bring this tip back up to this one so you just curve it up like this you'll notice it won't lay flat so you want to lay it on your desktop and push it down so it's flat and I'll show you guys what that looks like once I'm done so it should look like this, and when you open it, it should have an inverted corner, and then you just want to refold this part again, so it'll look just like this. You want to make, out of these pieces, the ones you already made, you want to make two more. So you'll have three of these, and three of these. 
So once again, you just bring the corner down to the bottom, bring it back up, and fold down. Okay, so this is the part where you start to assemble the cube. You want to take all your pieces with the inverted corner, and you want to hold one with an inverted corner so that the corner is facing you. Then you want to hold your piece, your second piece, just like this. And at this point, will slide under this point here, right there. So once you do that, it should look just like this. Now you want to take your third piece, and this is the tricky part. Uh, I'm making sure I'm holding it right. Okay, you want to hold it like this. This corner will go down to this corner right here. So you just slide it in between. And that's the hardest part of the cube, right there, just making the triangle. And if that was easy for you guys, then I'm pretty sure you're going to make tons of these. So you just want to push the pieces together, and you'll see that it's just a triangle. You'll see that you have a triangle. Then you want to hold your pieces together like this, and take one of your regular pieces and hold it like this. Put this flap between the gap between these two. You want to hold your piece together really tightly so it'll look like this. Then you want to turn it and your piece will look like this. You want to take another one of your units and place the flap in the gap between the two other flaps. You want to make sure you hold it together really tight. I can't tell you guys that enough because you'll get really frustrated if it just fall, falls apart all the time. Then you have a um, flap like this. Then you want to turn it over and you'll have this. Using your last flap, you just want to stick it in there. So, you just put the flap in there and the flap